Now I can hear you actually. Okay, that's strange. Oh, Maybe you. <laughs> Maybe everybody needs to connect also to the audio and video in order to hear you, but that doesn't make sense because before I could hear you just fine and I wasn't on video, so. Exactly, I've got no idea, but you're here now, so it's good to see you. Yeah, Where are you? You guys too. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit confusing because there's also the other session now on from you guys. So the one that was supposed to happen last. Oh, like, is that listed as well? Yeah, so I think they put both of them for now. So okay, I mean, I don't know. You're here. Hopefully, everyone else will see that there's yeah. two. Let me just have a look at that, and I'll sort of try and point people our way. Yeah, so, sure. where are you based? Where are you? Where are you? In Germany. Seeing? Germany. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and what? What? I mean, are you um, a recreational diver, or are you in a professional? Sorry, I don't. Yeah, I'm, so I'm a dive instructor and also underwater photographer. Um, right. And I used to live in Indonesia for the last few years. And um, yeah, well, came back a little while ago to back to Germany. And um, yeah. Okay, so you're still teaching in Germany? No, I'm not actually. I'm not very big on the cold diving. Well, I don't blame you at all. Tropics, but yeah. Um, okay, cool. so yeah, we we're on twice. So, so, which one are you in? You're in the photo hub. Photo clinic, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. I think yes. Right. So, okay. Anyway, did you did you have any questions that I, I can start with and then? Um, while Caroline tries to sort out the technical issue. Actually, I don't. I just came to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> but I really enjoyed your talk for, for the Bahamas. It was really, really cool to see amazing pictures. And it seems like an amazing place to go. I really can't wait. It's been on my bucket list for so many years already. And I, I'm that fair, I, can that, that, I mean, it's always nearly all. 99% of the time, you've got great visibility. A lot of it is shallow. There's plenty of light. So for photography, it is relatively easy. And, mm -hmm. and obviously, the sharks are big subjects. Yeah. So relatively easy. It's well, so our favorite place to, to go. I mean, we must have been seven times or so now. Um, Thank you. Uh, written books, you know, that have included it and, and hope to write a book about the Bahamas very soon, actually. So... So yeah, it's a place we really love. Um, Sounds great. So what are you shooting with? What do you use? I have a small Olympus as well. So not the EM1, but the EM10 actually. Okay, great so, camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been very happy with it so far. Yeah. So have you, I mean, have you got any travel plans or is it like us at the moment where it's just... No. No, nothing at the moment. I mean, we'll see how everything develops. It's it's really hard to tell right now. So it is. It's yeah. We haven't got anything. We've got lots of trips just waiting. You know, to until people have a bit more clarity. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. we, we get sent by tourist boards most of the time to where we're going, and they just can't risk it at the moment in case we get trapped at one end or the other, and you know, it'd be a waste sure, of their yeah. money. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really difficult situation at the moment. Yeah. So what, how have you found the show? Have you done much wandering around and talking to people? Because it's a bit odd, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> it's a very strange format. I mean, I'm very happy that it exists because I think it's a wonderful opportunity for us to, you know, to meet and network and still, um, yeah, still meet in a way, even if it's just digital. But um, hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Good. Do you recognize me? Yes. Somewhere in the Bahamas. Uh, alas, we're not in the Bahamas at the moment. We're in Manchester and it's pouring with rain. <laughs> it is absolutely <laughs> disgusting out there. But you are in the Bahamas, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, but it's the same weather. It's a bit stormy at the moment, so you don't miss anything today. Oh, okay. I'd rather be in a storm in the Bahamas <laughs> than stuck in the rain. I'd rather be at your lovely place <laughs> than here. <laughs> Yeah, have you seen any, what, what time of year are we? Yeah. No, we're not sharks yet at the moment for you, are we? Oh, hello, Jim. How hello. are you? Hello, all right. Hello. Yeah, we're good. How have you been finding the show? Uh, confusing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, we've got two sessions on simultaneously at the moment. So oh, excellent. Which one are you doing, then? Uh, we're in the Q&A one, one because that's one of the first people that joined uh, came to the Q&A one. So we just thought, right, well, we'll just talk here and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier, but for some reason, something yeah. went wrong. So yeah. they, put, they put them both together, which is a bit tricky. Yeah. But we'll manage. We'll do it. <laughs> we'll be there. Yeah. yeah. I had some technical issues yesterday as well. I was supposed to give a session and I didn't realize that the ses sessions are separate from the booth. So I was in my booth giving the session, but nobody showed up. And then ah. people seemed to say, like, where are you? You're supposed to give a session. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, wrong room, I guess. Yeah. Well, um, hopefully somebody recorded it somewhere. Yeah. Well, I'll give, be giving other sessions as well today yeah. and tomorrow. So what, what, okay. what do you Great. do, Romina? Um, I'm giving sessions on macro photography, like an introduction to macro photography and Moody Branks. Brilliant. It would help if you'd lived in Indonesia for a few years, wouldn't it? Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, really? Sorry, what? Good Everybody's point. speaking at the same time. I was saying that um, it would be great if you'd lived in Indonesia for a while, if you're going yes. to talk on macro, and then I went, oh, you have. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's why. I mean, the macro there is just spectacular. It's so many great places, so many different critters to discover. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, I'm, I'm simultaneously learning from octonauts oh <laughs> well you know you can't beat learning from octonauts I find. it's my favorite children's <laughs> entertainment i have to say when the grandkids are now getting a bit too old for it but when they were younger they loved it yeah. it's uh, it's good stuff honest <laughs> it's fantastic stuff have you got your kids there with you Jim? what's that are your kids watching it or is it just you? Oh, it's just me. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, the kids are watching it and um, and I'm just, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's weird just like doing, running the entire business from home though, isn't it? It really is. It's been a very strange few months. How is Fourth Element doing? I mean, hopefully you've had lots of online shoppers and... Yeah, yeah. it's okay. Uh, but it, it's... You know, we've never been a big online shopping business, so no. uh, it's never been a big part of how we've operated. But you know, it's business is it's generally it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, mm. You know, back in the early days of all of this, we've we've recovered pretty well, um, and I uh, kind of spend a lot of the time looking forward to the future, don't you? And thinking, right, what's next? What's around the corner? And you plan for for that? Absolutely. And, uh, Paulina, I, I listened to a little bit of your, only I dipped in and out of listening to your presentation on the coral. It's really interesting. Or, you know, your, well, your, mostly it was a conversation with Simon, wasn't it? But yeah. Uh, it was, yeah, uh, well, you probably arrive at the end, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry yeah. to miss it. If you speak no, that's all right. No, I, I, I was just, you know, I was kind of just trying to, trying to find out what everybody was, was um, you know, was, was you know, really interested in what everyone is talking about. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about it because he was in Dominica and we are in the Bahamas and we were closed for since March. We kind of reopened July for 20 days, but it was like nothing, you know. Oh, no. Yeah, it's been hard, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. 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 Not everywhere is the same thing, I, I, I guess. Everywhere, and, yeah. we, and, and we're, we are all looking yeah. forward to, you know, planning for those times when, um, you know, when we can get to the Bahamas. Yeah. When we can get to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, get to the Bahamas with the oceanic. I, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I actually, have, we, we actually booked a booked a trip to the Philippines speculatively, thinking, you know. Uh, for April, but I don't think it's going to happen because I don't think everything's going to be ready for then. But uh, 
I don't know. It's so hard to know. The next April. Yeah, yeah I, I received some booking for April 2 next year, but I'm like, oh. well, we showed a few people. just hope. Yeah. Yeah. We showed a few people the, um, the Oceanic white tips. Brilliant. From, uh, Brilliant. from Cat. Yeah, we did a presentation on shark diving in the Bahamas earlier. Sorry, I've just come in from walking the dog and it is absolutely throwing it down in Manchester. I just need to draw. <laughs> uh, so, so what's your presentation on today, Nick? Well, we the presentation we did, this this is just... Um, this is a, Q&A, is it? A photo hub, q and A's about... Yes, yeah, so, and also we were just well, telling you it's four o'clock, have like, a beer. Question and answers about photography. I should shut up, shouldn't I? Sorry. No, I think you know, there's only the... Uh, I don't know, there is someone else in the room, I think. I don't know why we can't see them, but um, if anyone's got a question about photography, shout out. Otherwise, we can just sit and talk about anything. Dive travel, uh, really? fourth element clothing, <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, Romina, you're, so you're based in Indonesia, right? No, now I'm based in Germany. I used to live in Indonesia for the last three, four years. Right, okay. Um, yeah, where, where about and now I'm back you? in Germany. Where, where Sorry? In Germany or in Indonesia? No, no in Indonesia. Whereabouts in Indonesia? Um, so also North Sulawesi um, on Siladen Island, Bunakan Marine Park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, at least, and then yeah. a little bit around Bali as well, and the Gili Islands. Mm -hmm. I haven't been. I haven't been back there for twenty years. The last wow. the last time I was, well, actually, twenty four years. I was in the Togian Islands twenty four years ago. Yeah! Wow! Uh, Amazing. Looking for dive sites, which was quite fun. Quite for a, sure. Quite an adventure, but yeah, it's beautiful up there. Amazing. It so is. Lovely. It really is. Yeah, and if you ever have a chance, you should really go back. Like we yeah. had some some customers also. Who the last time they were there was also around 20 years ago, and some of them said that the reefs had even improved, like the biodiversity and wow. and the situation of the coral and everything. So it's amazing, it's stunning, and you know it's so diverse. Also, you have all the corals, you have the walls, but then you have so many mac sites as well for macro. So yeah. you can do anything over there. It's, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Mm. And so. Um, so, so you've been you've been showing off the oceanic white tip stuff, have you? We we did an earlier presentation at two on shark diving in the Bahamas. So we went round each island, showing uh, you know which shark species were there at what time of year, and just sort of generally, you know, told people. We used to live on Stacia. We used to live on Stacia, yeah, um, a long time ago. Now, um, two thousand and two, we were in Stacia. Yes. yes. For a couple of years. A long time ago, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. I I miss you did what? Pauline? No, I missed the session because it's the one before I wanted to listen. It's not what I'm not interested about photo, but it, but I think we were at the same time. Oh, I think we were, yeah. What about tomorrow? Because we're doing the same one tomorrow. At two o'clock tomorrow, we'll do the same shark diving presentation. Are you but, busy then? Uh, yeah. No, me too. I have the same, but in French. I, I thought you were at three o'clock. I swapped. Ian told me to swap because ah. you're at three and we're at two. Hey, look, the clocks go back tonight. So oh, no yeah. time yeah. is yeah. going to be tomorrow. So so we won't even be this presentation. Just, just do you feel like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, it's three o'clock. No. It's okay, right. what time is it in the UK right now? Four o'clock. Yeah. Well, quarter past four. Four o'clock, okay. So, yeah, maybe tomorrow. It, uh, I think, yeah, it's the same time. It's one hour earlier, but it would be at the same time for me. Well, yeah, at two o'clock. No, I think well, we have the same so good. Time. But I'm not sure there is a lot of French people. So it's in my presentation. Yeah, it's in French. Yeah. There is nobody I just. <laughs> Try to do that job so we got, you can have one following seeing anybody who turns up on yours. Just you can, um, you can follow us going around the Bahamas. Yeah, hey, Jim, did you do a presentation earlier about full element suits and things? or? Uh, no. Uh, 
Dom did one yesterday, right. um, and, and I think Sam did one uh, earlier earlier today. Yeah, I thought um, I saw one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't actually know if we've got one scheduled for tomorrow. <laughs> if if we have, I'm doing it. But I, I better. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly so confused. I can't. I, 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 I so you go, need to go to the little reception button on the top left. Exactly. Yeah. And okay. Check out the schedule. Sunday, and then scroll yeah. down and see if right. there. I'd better. I'd better check, hadn't I? Yeah. Just in case. Maybe. Yeah. At some point, yeah. might be an idea. But... <laughs> and it's also running on Monday as well, right? So that's... I think just the first few hours of Monday for us. Yeah, I think until twelve or something like yeah. that. Okay. Cool. Cool, yeah. Uh, yeah so and I have, to, I have to get on with proper work on Monday, so I don't think we're doing anything on Monday. Oh, yeah, but it's, it's Oscar's birthday on Monday, so I've actually taken the day off. So oh. I'd be uh, first really time nice. I've been at home for his birthday. Yeah. Um, since he was born because of the dive show, so it's That's quite, it's quite a nice. Of thing. course. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but no. but on the um, on the subject of the oceanic white tips, I mean, I was reading the other day that they are, you know, because of their sort of fearless and inquisitive nature, that they are really seriously, you know, and you know, seriously under threat now, more so possibly than most people realise, which I think is it's pretty sobering, isn't it? it? It really is. I think they used to be the most populous animal on the planet sort of thing and now you know the numbers i think have dropped more than 90 percent the population yeah. um but you can yeah. still see them on cat island you Jim. can Get out of there. <laughs> so right. you know there's obviously the red sea ones uh you know are there but yeah cat yeah. island is a much uh, much more chilled out place to go and see them yeah they're not quite as pushy as the red sea ones they still come in and look at you but the red sea ones <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're calmer. Yeah, calmer, right? right. The, the ones on Cat Island are calmer. Yes. The Red Sea ones are like fully aggressive. Well, not, not aggressive. But I think but it's just, and pushy, yeah. I would say, Jim. Yeah. 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 Whereas Pauline's are a little bit more chill. But I think it's because there is more boat, more diver. Right. Yeah. And I, mean, I think a lot of it is is about human interaction as well and whether they get used to them because i know usually in katayla it's basically yes if that you know and it's not every day either yeah. so yeah that's island right put it on my list put it on your list yeah well, definitely you can always call us jim anyway it has to be april or may though really doesn't it uh pauline right. yeah yeah, exactly. But last uh, next year we will try. I mean, depends the situation. We wanted to do this year from March, but then COVID. Okay. And next year, yeah. It's you don't really know what's going on, so you're like trying to plan, but then you need to be flexible and um, so yeah. Just see what's going on and be flexible. Well, yeah, <laughs> That's the only thing. It's uh, kind yeah. of the only way to approach these sort of more intrepid trips, isn't it? Yes. Just like be ready to go when you can. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm yeah. And I have to say that that Pauline's place, Greenwood, on Cat Island, it's fabulous. Yeah. It's just it and is so, just like yeah. you found your place to chill out. We we stayed right. two nights. We only had one day though. Know, um sort of full day on island and then we you know we were there going no we don't want to leave sort of holding on to the furniture because uh, uh, you know a lot of the time when we travel it's you know here's your itinerary and you've got one day to try and do the yeah, you're too, you're too sharp. yeah so. it, it is as a sort of thing as photojournalists that's what you do you don't we're not complaining get, but <laughs> not in the slightest but you do only get like yeah very one short day. you don't get it you don't get it fortunately with the two of us if i miss it caroline will get it hopefully <laughs> that's the plan anyway i was i was just gonna ask you guys also so what do you recommend for the bahamas is it like possible to do several of the destinations yeah. in the bahamas by liverboard or would you go like island hopping there, there are, um, there are and liverboards resorts. that do it but you know what you don't get on a liverboard you don't get that caribbean feeling you're stuck on a boat uh i'm not the world's biggest fan of a liverboard simply because i always seem to get stuck on a boat 
with someone that I have a class with or something like, you know. So for me, I, I know it's obviously my fault, but um, I, I like to no, no, go out you, you and... If you can't go along with people, you are on the boat. You can't really escape. I know. Yeah, exactly. It's the not being able to escape thing. But 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 also, I think I, I like to experience a destination. And liverboards are great for those places that you simply can't do unless you've got a liverboard. So Socorro, Guadalupe, all of those places. You know, it's just not possible. Well, so many places um, now throughout the Caribbean and the Bahamas are, are doing proper beers as well. If any of you, are and that's vital for our trips as well. So. Proper beers. But what, what's wrong with the rum? Oh, uh, and that. Well, yeah. oh, you can't <laughs> drink rum all day, Jim. That would just be ridiculous. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> um, so back to your question, I would, I would personally stay on island, and I would do more than one island. So you know, I would don't go for a week and stay in one place. Island. It would be my suggestion. I would do try and go for two weeks and do three different islands or something. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, obviously that means you have to fly between islands, and so you you know, there's a bit of time when you can't dive, but. That's mm -hmm. worth it to get a feel and see the rest of the islands because they are worth it. I think everyone thinks of them as just the beautiful beaches They're and drinking so rum, different. but they are all different. So <laughs> you've got to drink rum too. Yeah, there is, they are different. You have, mm. Yeah, you the can rum is drink rum and panic too. during your whole vacation. You will find the all, and that's the nice thing. There, so you have special offer and you can do what they call island hopping mm. so you can combine uh the different island and this is great to discover because as nick and caroline said all the islands are different you mm -hmm. you will have cat island and then you have exumas then long island i mean andros they are all different you can see all different things underwater so here we have like wall diving and we have oceanic but some others, you will have reef carabine sharks and a lot of nice uh, uh, coral life, like small, what I understood, you like micro and stuff, and it's perfect. And we do have two, but some other place, it's shallower and the light is better for photography. And yeah, that's the nice things in the Bahamas because you can see a really different uh, underwater and, and on land different view. I think the fact that it is, you rarely beyond eight meters unless you're going <laughs> off on the walls and the rest of it. So there's always plenty yeah. of light, which is absolutely right. great for the photographer. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, yeah. I generally do stick with, with my strobes, uh, but it's it's also a great place to do some um, ambient lighting yeah. stuff. Um, it looks oh, yeah. like it. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, you know, we're not technical divers, but in fact, the Bahamas has Cave, amazing cave diving as well, which mm. we've not done, Abaco, but we've seen in Abaco. Yeah. Yeah. Seen images of that are completely stunning. So, I mean, we can't do it because we're not qualified to do it. But, um, yeah. The last trip to Abaco, we were there with Joe Thompson, George, any of you? He's, a, he's quite an good, well, he's not quite a good photographer. Yeah, yeah. Photographer, and, uh, um, yeah, we. They were trying to get him into the caves and it was all too short notice, really. And then Abaco got hit by the massive hurricane, I think, a few weeks after we were there. Um, oh, yeah. So it's only just getting back on its feet now, isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah, I was in touch with Brian. Abaco is now the trailing. Say that again, Pauline. Say that again. I said the abacos they are still struggling. They're still struggling. They, they, they don't. They did not. Yeah. Apparently, what I even understand, the the airport is still closed or about to reopen. I mean, they just recover from that from the last hurricane. Yeah. Just terrible. And well, it was a really bad one. It was Abaco, wasn't it? Yeah. Abaco was quite funny on the trip we did because as we flew out there, there was a young young miss. Um, oh, I think like she just won the junior Miss World or something, and she was from Abaco. And and when we got there, there was this ah. band waiting, and they're playing the a John Canoe band. Back, and somebody came over. These are for you, not for her. And then they realised it was just awful. Was, they tried to make me dance in the um, baggage hall of the airport, which is just not my <laughs> nice thing at all. <laughs> 
is that not is that not a good it's thing? It's really not, Jim, honestly, I promise you, it's not a good thing. Did you get in touch with Brian, Jim? How is he? He's 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 getting he, he, I mean when it first happened it was terrible. I mean, his place was was flooded and uh, I mean his house was virtually destroyed. Um but you know, he and the dog and you know, but they, he was very keen to let us know that Otis was okay. fine. Um but yeah, they they um and he's been diving since and you know, getting back into the caves a little bit, but it has been I mean, you know, the the destruction of the infrastructure yeah. leaves you know, leaves everybody wondering. Yeah, that's the big thing, isn't it? I mean, at least with what's going on currently with COVID, yeah. the infrastructure being yeah. destroyed. You know, assuming that there are still people yeah. around, yeah. you know, it, it, it's possible to activate things. But when yeah. when your entire island has basically been flattened, you know, it's it's imagining how to it's imagining how to come back yeah. from that, which I think is the you know the the, the the big challenge when you've been not sideways yeah. and and it and, and certainly it's a it's a double whammy i think for those guys they're probably a little bit in the you know in a better situation in that tends to be that the, the um american um tourists or american divers you know are, are fairly gung-ho about traveling to the yeah. caribbean and they're probably you know at, at first possible opportunity they'll get out there and yeah. there will be tourists but, you know, yeah. it must be, it must be, you know, it must be awful. No, abso absolutely. I can't even, you know, imagine having to come back from something like that. Yeah. Um, we're talking of dogs. We have a new addition. Yeah, no, we're just doing yeah. me. Uh, is, did Paddy shuffle off the most this morning? Yeah, I'm afraid he did. But this is Gucci. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to position himself. So we have got the ironing board with a laptop on. That's how we do our presentations nowadays. Uh, it's the only use the ironing okay. board has had in the last, I don't know how many years. But he is lying on both of our feet, so we can't move at all. If one of us just goes over, then that will be, you'll know why. <laughs> yeah. yeah, excellent. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's, a, it's a brave new world, all of this. It really is yeah. just bonkers. Doing presentations without being able to see your audience and know mm. if they're enjoying it or not. It's just, a, you know, we've we've done quite a lot of it. And um... but at the same time, it's like, it's wonderful that you've got, you know, people in different countries, you know, Pauline and Romina, and, 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 and I can see there's 12 people. I don't know why we can't see them. And, and you're showing us your dog, which I'm a bit worried about. But uh, no, um, but it's wonderful that we can actually do it from all these different places. And and, and the opportunities, it, it you know, it, it, it's, it's a, put a whole different spin on everything for from, from our perspective. Craig, stop stalking but, and put your video camera on. <laughs> Someone's yeah, written that right. they're stalking us. Uh, <laughs> on the, on the stalking who? That's what, yeah. Really <laughs> Be afraid. Exactly. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yes, I guess the other people are just listening to us chat away here. If you have got a question, yeah. one, shout up or type it and we'll answer it. <laughs> ah, he's on. Yeah, you see, he's using the ironing board yes. properly. Very, very Yeah, sensible. they're much more sensible than us. <laughs> You'd still be ironing on a Saturday afternoon. That's the, you know, this was supposed to be a session where we were all having a beer, but we took a lot of time. We're all talking about, you know, diving. Yeah. It, you know, I, I, it's, it's kind of faded from the um, faded from the consciousness, hasn't it? But there was, wasn't there all this, there was for a while, this deep underwater ironing stuff that went on, wasn't there? That people would set the records for the deepest underwater That's ironing. That's right, extreme and, ironing, ironing, it was called. Yeah. Extreme ironing. What happened, whatever happened to extreme I, ironing? I, I, I don't know. No more, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> everything's everything that's because everything's wrinkle free i mean you just don't need right. it, yeah. Yeah, it. And, and as we haven't worn anything other than t-shirts for what they, feels like a couple of decades so just, you know. <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> did you make these i don't know <laughs> no i don't know i don't recognize uh, that work no, I confess <laughs> not not certainly not mine <laughs> But I like I like them both, as, actually, especially yours, yeah, Nick. Nice, uh, isn't that? I put them on my uh, Nick Moore, I think, but <laughs> I can't I can't take the Mickey out of Nick anymore. Trying to suggest he needs to do some some actual focusing sessions with me. 
Um, but it's not funny anymore. Yeah. I tell you what, Jim, though, your Xerotherm Arctics are a godsend because social distance outside drinking in the winter. Uh, <laughs> I know that's not why you invented them, be, but they um, should be looking for a different career, clearly. <laughs> we've been we, sat outside in our Arctics. <laughs> well, we, we've got a great space outside, it's covered, and there's a massive 20 um, year old vine which we've yeah. trailed over the top, and it's We've kind of got enough air coming through, so it's to safe. Make it, yeah. Um, but got an infrared heater in there if it does get really cold, and it's a great place just to sit and drink and. In our Arctic's, yeah. In our Arctic's. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> well, I was uh, I was um, doing my open water swimming this morning oh. um, in, in, in the sea and. Uh, and was extremely grateful to be able to put my yes. on afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> What's well, the water answer. temperature at the moment? Uh, well, I, I think it's probably around 11 or 12. It's not That's actually not that, that bad. bad. Yeah. It's um, the same temperature it was at Banola Pool, where we were a few weeks ago. Um, and we were in wetsuits. Yeah. 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 We did a bit of snorkeling. Yeah. yeah. No, it's pretty. It, it's it, it's. At, I mean, it's actually, today it was. You know, I wish I had my camera because there was um, a couple of shags um, feeding, and as as we were swimming, disturbing fish in the in the reeds. They were the, the shags would be coming past yeah. us to catch the fish. It was totally amazing, amazing right? watching these birds go go past you. You're swimming along, and I, as, I mean, basically as fast as human. Well, in my case, possible. Um, and then there's these birds just going, <laughs> right, and you know, as soon as they see this, you know, as soon as they see a fish being disturbed, they're on it. It's absolutely stunning. And I wish, you know, wish to have uh, in, uh, in Cornwall, Greg, uh, in uh, um, in the Helford Estuary in Cornwall, yeah, on the south on the south coast, and, it's, uh, and it was just it was very calm. There's absolutely it's a beautiful dive site there actually as well. It's one of my one of my favourites for seeing thornback oh, rays and dogfish in exactly the same place. But these, these shags were just, just yeah, we could do just trip down basically there. using us using us like sort of I don't know like yeah. spaniels flushing out the game. Thank you, Yeah, but yeah, but I've, I've I've hijacked your presentation. That's all right. Quite, it's just, uh, it's just like, I'm trying to think of a photo. My thought for this presentation was just people chatting generally about diving and ironing and uh, you know sort of whatever, basically anything goes. Well, you can ask a question about photography just so we've achieved. So, so we've achieved our goal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, wow. while you're while while I put you then on the subject of that, do, do you have you done much on the on the video side? We're doing more and more. We're doing more and more. So now, I mean, we don't do a lot with the national newspapers because we shoot, we film sharks so much, and uh, we have learned the hard way that you can't send them a picture without them abusing it, uh, or it's very difficult. Um, killer in the they always use, Yeah, the word killer in front of the word shark. Um, yeah. Even when it's Even a basket, we, yeah. That's how we learned. Yeah, they we came, we went back a long time ago now. Well, we saw you on the same trip a long time ago. You were kayaking. Mm. They used images from that trip yeah. saying uh, snorkelers unaware of giant killers uh, surrounding them or something because Charlie had taken an overhead shot of us in the water. So it wasn't us, This it wasn't our image that went to the papers. You know, and the reality was divers spend hundreds of pounds to get into the water with gentle giants. Well, not, Charlie's yeah. not deep, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> so, you know, bonkers, the headline that came out of that. Oh, Craig's got a photo question, everyone. Hold your horses. What is it? Is he... He's typing here. Okay. It better not be a long question. We'll be waiting ages. You're all welcome. <laughs> It's in here as well, guys, as you all put. But Jim, just it's you. difficult. It's difficult typing with the tip of the eye. That's, that's the problem. That definitely will make life difficult. <laughs> not to melt the keyboard. Um, well, yeah, Jim, we're shooting with the Parallens dive cameras that are now yeah, right. mounted yeah, okay. to the top of our normal photography rigs. And, and they've mm. produced some really nice videos for us. I mean, we're not, 
yeah. we would never class ourselves as professional videographers we're professional photographers right. but you know we have some you know some pretty decent video we have, footage we now. have jeff on the school yeah. reverse team for that yeah well, he is good planning shots on land creating great blurred backgrounds why can i not achieve these underwater okay so it's all about your strobe settings really getting panning shots underwater um which of course you won't use on land um so nick do you want to talk about rear sync strobe are you using strobes craig yes no <laughs> Okay, yeah, you're using the same strobes as us then. Cool. Perfect. Um, so if you put your camera, well, you can tell us what camera you've got along the way, but if you put your camera into rear sync, rear curtain, rear sync, so that when you fire the button, the flash fires at the end of that time rather than at the beginning. So if you're on something to get that kind of shot, you, you probably get away with... 175th i don't do a lot of those but you get a, a relatively slow speed but what you do is you track the eye and follow the eye and you're focused on it when you take the shot and when you do that what will happen is because the light is just a fraction behind you'll get the front lit and the rest will be we'll do that um, we'll do that blur also we should if try it if not feel free to call me and we'll talk you through it Oh, you're using the same camera as me, so that should work. Yeah. Oh, no worries. Have us. We've got lots of people, we just can't see them for some reason. <laughs> Don't know why. Um, so these newcomers, if you'd like to ask a question, either turn on your video and audio, or type one at the side if you're shy and don't want to join us in the room. <laughs> I've been I've been using the um, the Paralens um, right. as well, and and I made the mistake of just kind of thinking of it almost like that kind of handheld torch yeah. type, you know, piece of equipment. But and and I've got some nice. Well, I say nice. I've got some footage of I mean a, a fairly you know fairly interesting behaviors, especially sea snakes. And um, but then of course the disappointment comes when you come to watch it back and realize that you're holding the camera and you, you know even the tiniest yeah. movement like that and i think that having a tray or something yeah. like that probably is my solution yeah. to improving it um and then i, I guess that is, is that yes. no, it's a great yeah. idea you need, I, so some people have it on. just in, just two hands holding yeah. it keeping yeah, it steady. absolutely and there are some really you know inexpensive trays but it's just about having those two handles to keep it because then you're thinking about it more and keeping it steady as well rather than holding it and it's just not possible so so yeah we mount ours on a mara's tray but that's because we're sponsored by mara's not because so other you know um brands are available other trays are available um and they've got a nice little tray that it fits on that comes with two little lights and that's that's what and it's not expensive either. oh no it's dirt cheap it's like 150 quid including the lights um but right. yeah, as I say, most of the time it's actually mounted on our cameras, so that and we're used to holding those steady. But in your case, a little tray is the way forward. Definitely. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm going to invest before the next <laughs> when you kind of, go diving. <laughs> um, well, yeah. I, 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 you know, who knows when that? Who knows when and where that will be? But I, I mean, I don't. I don't tend to feel too um, uh, inclined to record product yeah. testing dives because it's usually you know yeah. not a lot happens um uh, but yeah the the um it would be so the only the only, my only experience of using it so far has been on holiday and, and um it has you know I, I, it's wonderful for recording these things but i i kind of wish that i could just have that there's nothing i would ever nothing i've shot i would ever choose to share share or show anyone else because it yeah. is so wobbly yeah. you know it's just it's yeah. just my memories of, of an amazing dive and, and perhaps that's it probably, all the difference. probably the best probably how it should be left i'm not exactly and uh, the train will make all the difference the train will make all the difference but i think people love seeing video clips on social media especially you know just oh look it, i think it helps them be more engaged. I like shooting bed because it helps people get more engaged. And oh, you know, you can imagine being mm. 
you know, that wobbly person with, you know, with the video footage. Yeah. I don't think they really mind uh, a lot of the time. No, you, yeah. the BBC wouldn't use it. But, you know, I, I think people actually understand that you are moving while you're underwater. Oh, outside, Jim. Yeah. Or, you know, people, <laughs> That's right, yeah. Volunteering, uh, you know, advice. And you could maybe make a few sales out of it. You know, well, i tell you what you could do. You could make people think that they were seasick or out on the boat or whatever. At least yeah. they get the experience. Get them, yeah. get them training. There is there is a there is a Facebook group, isn't there, called Crack Fish Photography, where you know, and I, and I seriously think I just unload all my uh, upload all my stuff there, and you know, and face the music. But, <laughs> but you know, you, it is it's a wonderful sort of aid memoir, for, you know, and, and especially you know, the, the you know the dives where you just the, there isn't you know, your brain isn't good enough to take it all in when you know when in these really, you know, big mind blowing ones you know and uh, you know stuff with the sea snakes the, you know the it, it, what credit in the Philippines just you just you know I look back and think oh well, really you know yeah. that, that happened and doing it you don't kind of have that same feeling do you so it's it's lovely to have that thing that, that yeah. takes you back and if you want to have a look at some of our parallels footage then it's on on our stand, but <laughs> I don't know. You go to the stand and hit play, right. and that happens. Uh, I'll yeah. see if I can find that. I, can't. I only just found my own. Go to Expo and then scroll down. Yeah, and um, Craig, actually, the parallels. Just talking about you take so long to edit. The reason we didn't used to do video was because of that. Because I couldn't be bothered uh, finding the clip, um, you know, editing it and whatever. The parallels white balances for you as you descend. And so literally all I do is go cut, cut, stick my logo on either end and stick it wherever it's going to go on social media. If it's going to take me more than 10 minutes to edit a video, then I don't do it. So I love the fact that from the parallels thing, the output, you you know, you look through the, the dive profile and you you kind of have a, no a notion of when during the dive you shot that bit of footage you think might be okay and you go you can find it so easily rather than my experience with gopro like craig's talking about there was that he's just got this kind of endless stream of clips and no idea of how to identify the one you yeah. think you really want as well and that i think i think that that's an yeah. advantage of the you know the, the, the parallels um at boot, I think it, they, they hadn't been going long, three or four years, and, and they, they lent us one to play with mm. and get some stuff, and we shot some stuff in the Bahamas, and it, of course came straight out the camera, and they we asked if they wanted to use it, they said yes. So in boot, they just showed this video of a shark feed in the Bahamas, straight out of camera. And they sold out in the, the first afternoon of boot. And they very kindly said, you can keep that. <laughs> so they <right."> said, yeah, <laughs> so they let us keep the camera because of that. So, um, And they're actually sending us the new one, which has a little screen on the back, so you can see what you're shooting, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Yeah, that, I think, yeah, Craig, now's the time to ask, because this new one is, you know, new one is out with yeah. new features. You know, now's the time to try and blow. Right, they aren't, they aren't lying. They haven't got any right now because um, we should have had ours a couple of weeks ago, and they're like, no, it's not ready yet. So, <laughs> guys, I, 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 I'm going to um, say it's lovely to see you. It was lovely I might to just, see you too, uh, Jim. Bail out and go and see if, see if yeah, I've got any work to do on my booth. <laughs> lovely to see you. Good to see you, Jim. Good to see you, Jim. But, uh, very nice to see you, you and uh, nice to meet you, Romina. Yeah, and nice to meet you too, Jim. Uh, see you around. And uh, see right. you around. Bye. Cheers, guys. Yes, bye. <laughs> so any, anyone else listening got any questions? It can be about dive travel. It can be about photography. It can be specifically about the Bahamas. I think I said we'd be on till five, but I'm, you know, if people haven't got any questions, then we can all go away. But if they have, then we're happy to, to stay. We'll wait because people might be typing. <laughs> <laughs> so, when's your next presentation? Um, well, it's in one of the sessions. <laughs> so, you can find it in the <laughs> sessions. <laughs> All right, fair um, enough. <laughs> yeah, well, it's going to be in one, one hour, hour and 20 minutes. minutes. 
and um, it's going to be yeah on Marvin yeah. Photography. So you can drop by over there. Um, I'm going to be in the right one this time as well. <laughs> well, just try and get your sessions there because obviously at three o'clock our session wasn't even listed. So. Yeah, I saw yeah. that as well. I was like, I can't find yeah. it. What's going on? It, but, I mean, I mean yeah. it's good that you had yeah. another session anyway. I, the, so. You know, this is a new thing. I think you know there were there were always going to be hitches to to this weekend. Um, I quite like the yeah. fact that you can go away and do your own thing for a couple of hours and then come back and what have you. So, yeah. you know, as a format, yeah. I think it's worked quite well. So. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, have you tried the I networking to you? Um, yeah, I've tried, no, but there's nobody. <laughs> like I've been it. sitting there waiting because you're supposed to be matched yeah. with somebody and there's nobody ever showing up. So it's like, okay, yeah, I'll I, leave again. I don't <laughs> think anyone's later. been brave enough to use the networking to back yeah, yeah. It's hard though, isn't it? If they do this again next year, they'll, <laughs> they'll be able to iron out some of it. Yeah. 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 So we may yeah. of course, be relatively yeah. normal next year. Oh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't look like anyone else has got any questions, so I think we're going to, um, I don't know, have a beer, it's a Saturday night or something like that. It's been really lovely to meet you. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it was nice to meet you guys too. And we'll see you at one of your presentations. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.